Residents of Texas and North Carolina are in for a treat. Their food can now be delivered to their doorsteps in just five minutes by Flytrex drones. This marks the first time such a delivery service has been tailored for suburban areas. The round-trip journey spans approximately 8 kilometers. These drones can reach speeds of up to 51 kilometers per hour, ensuring your coffee stays hot and your ice cream doesn't melt. Pilots aren't required either. However, a team of operators closely monitors the flights as a precaution. Currently, the maximum weight for orders is 2.5 kilograms. And if you're not in the mood for lunch, you can also stock up on essentials like toilet paper and more. Imagine a scenario where Skynet triumphs, and we're being chased by robots like these. They might just recall every misfortune and every kick from their creators. Perhaps they shouldn't have made these robots so speedy. They can reach almost 12 kilometers per hour. How far can you run at that pace? The makers claim that it's a record among similar robots, and they aim to boost their speed to 18 kilometers per hour in the future. The robot goes by the name Unitree H1. The idea is for them to be versatile assistants, both for carrying cargo in warehouses and showing off some dance moves. We're eager to see the equally impressive capabilities of the newest versions. Ever heard of a finger exoskeleton? Sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? But did you know that pressing buttons regularly, say on a machine tool, can harm your tendons? To steer clear of such issues, DigiCGmbh GmbH has introduced Artus. It's a passive exoskeleton that prevents your fingers from bending too far back, all without messing with your natural movements. Thanks to DigiSkin Foam, your tactile sensitivity remains intact. And let's not forget about its durability. Each Artus weighs 6 to 12 grams and can handle a static load of up to 50 kilograms. Numerous rural areas in Germany face public transportation issues, with most folks relying on cars. In such places, the few buses that still run are almost empty, making it a futile and unprofitable endeavor. That's why the Monocab Owl team decided to give rail transportation a fresh approach. It makes sense, considering Germany boasts Europe's largest railroad network. Their solution involves placing these pods on the rails. Each pod accommodates up to six people, and there's an official app for easy ordering. These compact pods can be used simultaneously in both directions on single-track lines and are operational year-round. Do you think it sounds promising? In China on February the 27th, a cab zipped from Shenzhen to Zhuhai in just 20 minutes, a journey that normally takes about two and a half hours. The twist? This cab didn't stick to the roads, it actually flew. It now feels like we're a step closer to living like the people in the movie The Fifth Element. Perhaps sea rider jet skis could gradually take over from classic ones too. Not only are they electric vehicles, but they're also interesting hybrids. Sea Rider upgraded the steering to be sharper, resembling a motorcycle. They also shed some weight, now tipping the scales at 65 kilograms. You can rev up to 77 kilometers per hour, and a full charge provides 50 minutes of riding. Forget Optimus Prime. In India, they've come up with something even cooler, a rickshaw that transforms into a scooter. By the way, India has now snagged a spot in the top three global car markets as of the end of 2022. This means there's definitely a market for this wonder. 
It's called the Surge S32, and it's technically an electric car with two separate power units. The rickshaw comes in various body variants. PV with passenger seats and LD with a cargo platform resembling that of a pickup truck. The transformation into a scooter takes just three minutes and no tools are needed. It can reach a decent speed in both modes, around 45 km per hour for the rickshaw and 60 km per hour for the scooter. But here's the catch. The driver of the Surge S32 needs a license for two categories at once. The CYBI prosthesis is pretty cool, especially because it suits kids as young as two. It's super lightweight too. In some versions, it weighs only 200 grams, like three ice cream cones. No fancy electronics, so it doesn't mind even a heavy rain. Thanks to its touchscreen fingers, it allows people to use smartphones, tablets, and other devices. And here's a bonus. CYBI helps work out forearm and hand muscles. They even thought of adding an interchangeable module for jump rope workouts. And of course, each prosthesis is customized to fit not only the wearer's anatomy, but also their preferences. You can choose the color of each part and even decorate CYBI with drawings. Now let's go to Texas and check out IC's accomplishment. Thanks to their efforts, this distribution center, spanning around 160,000 square meters, has become the world's first with a fleet of entirely autonomous trucks. These trucks efficiently handle 750 trailer sites, employing artificial intelligence algorithms to drive in a manner that cuts costs and enhances safety. Notably, the transportation and warehousing sector tops the list for employee injuries, according to the U.S. National Safety Council. Given the expected shortage of 160,000 truck drivers in the States by the decade's end, IC's solution proves to be a crucial investment in the future. Tap water can contain over 60 harmful substances like lead and arsenic. But bottled water can be pricey, and less than 10% of plastic bottles get recycled. So, how do we stay hydrated? Enter Spout, a solution to both problems. This device extracts up to 9.5 litres of water from the air daily, making it 50% cheaper than delivery. Plus, Spout water undergoes filtration, making it over twice as clean as tap water. Installation costs $600, and you can pre-order it now with a $99 deposit. Lenovo is kicking off the year with a bang. Check out this laptop featuring a transparent display and no physical keyboard. It's the industry's first micro-LED concept. How does it work? The 17.3-inch frameless display lets you adjust transparency up to 55%, and instead of a physical keyboard, Lenovo offers a virtual one. The laptop's resolution is a modest 720p, but the concept's pretty cool. Imagine a designer immediately seeing how their work fits into a room. And here's the fun part. Lenovo uses artificial intelligence and augmented reality algorithms to add virtual elements to real objects behind the laptop, like adding a butterfly to a vase. If the rumors are true, these laptops might hit production in about five years. In June last year, experts successfully tested the Phaser 35 at an altitude exceeding 20 kilometers. This drone serves as a cost-effective alternative to satellites and runs on solar energy. The claim is that the Phaser 35 can stay airborne for a whole year. 
With a payload capacity of 15 kilograms, it can handle various tasks, from setting up 5G networks to monitoring forest fires. Its impressive 35-meter wingspan adds to its capabilities, and it can reach speeds of about 145 kilometers per hour. Keep an eye out for it hitting the market in around three years. You know the movie Limitless? In it, the protagonist takes pills that supercharge his brain, enabling him to operate at 200% capacity. He quotes books he's barely glimpsed at, gains people's trust effortlessly, and even predicts future events. Anyway, if such pills were real, they'd soon be outdated. That's because Elon Musk's company Neuralink is developing brain neurochips. Initially, they'll assist in medical treatments, but eventually, they could unleash humanity's full potential. What can these chips do? Well, they can regulate hormones, transmit music at frequencies beyond human hearing, and enable telepathic-like communication. Data from the chip can be accessed via Bluetooth. The chip itself is relatively small, measuring 23 by 8 millimeters, and the procedure to implant it could be as simple as laser eye surgery. For something special, Honda unveiled a groundbreaking augmented reality project at the South by Southwest Innovation Show. It's called the Honda XR Mobility Experience, and it combines VR glasses with a unique UniOne chair. Simply lean in the direction you want to go, and the UniOne will take you there. With excellent balance, it's up for twists and pirouettes, and its height is adjustable for comfortable conversations. The chair tops at a speed of 6 km per hour, running on electricity with a full charge covering 8 km. Let's hope app developers go beyond standard races and create exciting projects for both entertaining and learning. Back in 2018, experts valued the global Kiwi market at $7.6 billion, surpassing Liechtenstein's GDP for the same year, if you're into quirky comparisons. Long story short, Kiwis are big business. That's why this robotic Kiwi picker is making waves. Equipped with an array of cameras and learning algorithms, it can spot up to 90% of fruit. Thanks to precise calibration, it handles picking more delicately than humans, a crucial factor since kiwis often grow in bunches and rough picking can harm nearby berries. The robot can even be used to pollinate the garden.